I play D. You don't play D. Yep. Just have zero play. defense. Just have to play D. Don't. So you just slash people with your feet planted. Sounds about right. <laughs> this week, I play goalie and string a stick for my childhood idol. Welcome to Throne Room. First up this week, we have an unboxing from my good buddy Travis. Why, Travis? Why? Why would he seal it with stickers? Can I gotta cut his stickers? Uh, whatever. I hope it's stickers. If this is a whole thing of stickers, I would actually be kind of happy. That'd be awesome. This is a strongly written letter, lit only by natural candlelight. What the hell is going on here? Joseph. Please don't ever use that small, sad little knife ever again. <laughs> Here's something that should work a bit better. Thanks for the support. See you boys soon. Travis, info. What? What? Did he just make fun of me? Go. Oh, fancy. What? What? It's yellow and gold. It's like he knows me. Dude. Okay, this thing's scary. No, I'm gonna kill myself with this. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's two knives? Yeah. What? Do you do it like that? Million. The really funny thing is, is that Chris got me this one. To keep on his desk for Christmas, because he was always looking for a knife. <laughs> and this is, and this is Chris size. And this is Travis size knife. <laughs> it didn't weigh so much. Thank you for the amazing gift, buddy. Have to say, one of the nicest gifts I've ever received. It's almost too nice to actually use to open boxes, but uh, it'll definitely make it efficient. The big project this week was a collaboration with Powell Lacrosse. Uh, this one strikes a definite chord with me. I grew up a huge Powell fan. Um, I would say that Mike Powell was definitely my childhood idol, and uh, I still think he's the absolute man. So being able to uh, talk to him on the phone and collaborate on this project was, was really awesome. I don't wanna go too much in detail because there's gonna be more coming out on this, um, but it was just super awesome. And today we're gonna teach you guys how to do the marble dies that we did for the head. So uh, let's get into it. First, you're going to need some webbing spray. This can be found at most hobby and craft stores or also online, you can definitely find it. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is give it a good shake. Next, you wanna remove the cap and find a box to spray the head in. Um, you can also use a trash can. We just been using this box for years and it looks like something like the spawn of Satan and it's just funny and kind of now a tradition so we always use this box. As a design feature, we're only gonna be marbling the inside of the head. So we're gonna hold the can about 10 inches away, spraying left to right and right to left. We wanna really cake it on. You want about 75% coverage for a single color dye. And once the spray is all done, Chris is gonna take some acetone and we're gonna remove all the excess spray from the outside of the head, giving a nice clean edge um, from the solid to the marble. Don't. What are you doing? Making it right. <laughs> Stop, I need the light. All right, fine. <laughs> With the masking complete, we're gonna set the head aside to uh, let the spray harden, and so it gives you kind of the best result at the end. And we're starting getting the dye ready. We always pre-dilute our dye. And what this means is we take a mason jar, we put the amount of powdered dye we need into it, and then we fill it with warm water and give it one hell of a shake. What this does is it really dilutes the, all the powder down, getting rid of any hard particles left that will give you an imperfect dye um, when you actually throw it in the big pot. So you always want to do this. We're going to let the dye come to boil and kick it down a little bit to a nice simmer, let it cool for about a minute, minute and a half. And then we're going to chuck the entire head in there because it's going to be a solid on marble. And we're going to set the timer for seven minutes. While the head's cooking, I got a giveaway for you. Up for grabs is a Pile Pioneer and a full fiber system, all white on white. It's gonna look really awesome and perform even better. In order to win, what you guys need to do is take a screen capture from this entire episode, just one, and it has to be your favorite part of the episode and post it on Instagram with the hashtag Throne Pioneer. Also in the comment on that post, you need to let me know why that part is your favorite from the series. I'm gonna pick the best one and announce it next week on our Instagram, Throne of Strength. Good luck, guys. 
When the timer goes off, you wanna grab the head of the die immediately and throw it in the fridge for about 10 minutes. This is gonna shock the plastic back into rigidity, making sure it's not a noodle after keeping the die for seven minutes. After the head is cool, we're gonna take some acetone and remove all the masking from the inside of the head. This is by far my favorite part because it really reveals the die job. And it's either awesome or it's either terrible depending on if you did a good job. And uh, it's always a 50-50. Now that the head is clean, it's time to string it up. We're going kind of an OG Cuse colorway on this. It's actually gonna get the full light system with some custom mesh. So it's gonna go from navy to orange to white. It's gonna get a full white light kit. Uh, it's gonna look fresh. For the pocket, we're gonna do kind of a custom spec assassin type A hybrid, which is actually Mike Powell's pocket from the MLL. Uh, one of my favorite setups I've ever seen on a field. Um, I remember being a kid and just thinking it was super cool. His red clutch with blue mesh and white strings. Um, this one's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna make it have 2014 NCAA regulation in it, uh, but it's gonna be perfect. The geometry of the Pioneer uh, is pretty aggressive. You're able to get a very, very tight channel to it with pretty low whip, especially with the low pocket. Um, we're gonna bag it out a little bit, kind of got that big Sam look to it. Uh, it's gonna be pretty perfect. We wrapped up this week with some prototyping of our new product line. Um, I don't know if this is the best way to go about doing it, but I'll never turn a chance to throw balls at Chris. So we're doing some more prototyping and uh, I was shocked on how light we could get the actual goalie stick with the, the new product in it. And uh, Chris is a little skeptical about it. So we're gonna have a little, it's currently doing his warm up. So Chris has some goalie experience. I have zero goalie experience. But I got some. You've got a lot more than I do. So we're gonna do um, kind of a bet, best of five shots, see who can bury more for ultimate kind of shut up bragging rights about the new product line. Um, so let's see how this goes. Oh, I got a piece of it. One, one. Oh, Woo! ate it. Hybrid box goalie, field goalie. <laughs> oh, I got me five hole again. <laughs> Get owned right now. Okay, one for three. Oh! Piping in. Not <laughs> Man, I'm not doing so well. Two for five? Yeah. I'm gonna do better than that. Oh! Right in the neck, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed to shoot. Oh. <laughs> First one. <laughs> I can't even play anymore. That should count as two saves. <laughs> Alright, we're good. We're good. Alright, you're good. You're playing a little higher arm. Oh, it hurts. Let's go. Ready? Oh, my foot. Stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. Over two. I was scared on that one, not gonna lie. One for three. Oh! You hit, you hit, you hit yourself. Ah, it hit me in the leg. How did goalies do this? Oh, we're one for four. All right, you gotta score to tie it. Oh, oh winner! If you learned something in this video, please throw the video a like and let me know what it was in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe because we're also doing three other custom Powell Pioneers and those are gonna be coming up very soon. You can see all Throne products here on thronelacrosse.com. I'll have a link in the description below or you can hit the I in the top right-hand corner. And I'll see you soon in the Throne Room.